Brillo, the Army Dillo by Lou Rengar. The fields were too quiet. Everyone was asleep. Everyone except Brillo, the armadillo. Brillo was searching for cutworms and beetles. However, there were no juicy, juicy bugs. This put Brillo in a terrible mood. Even an armadillo needs to eat, Brillo said as he wriggled about. Then he darted into a hole and was gone from sight. Brillo was a big armadillo now. He'd lived through many dangerous experiences. This strange armadillo had fought with a wily coyote, with Willy Coyote, and lived to tell about it. He had been hit by a big truck and saved with the help of his best friend Skunk. Brillo had also met up with some very mean characters in his travels across Texas. Now Brillo was bored. What was there left to do? He was still thinking when his head nudged the ground and he fell asleep fell into a deep sleep. Isn't that all, my dear? In his sleep, Brillo dreamed about the army. He dreamed about army soldiers, about jeeps, and about army tanks. In his dream, he drove the five-ton wrecker, the army personnel carrier, and lots of jeeps and tanks. He also dreamed he was a very important general with hundreds of medals. Suddenly, someone said, Attention! This is Captain Dillo here. I am in charge of the United States Army Dillos. Brillo, you are in the army now. Brillo couldn't believe it. This was a dream come true. He stood on his hind feet and tried to salute. The captain shook his head and said in a firm, rough voice, Being a soldier is not an easy job. We'll see if you are made out of the right kind of stuff. The army needs a few good Dillos. Now let's be quick about it and report to the plant platoon sergeant on the double. Brillo was given a uniform, boots, helmet, and an identification tag, better known as a dog tag. Now he was just like all the other army dillos. His dog tag hung heavy around his neck, and he got tangled up in it almost all of the time. But he knew he must never be without it. Every good soldier must be able to be identified by name, rank, and serial number. Brillo tried very hard to follow orders. Sometimes when the drill sergeant yelled at him, it would hurt his feelings enough to make him cry. The drill sergeant would yell things like, Private, give me a hundred more push-ups, or get that mush out of your ears, Private. Eventually, Brillo learned how to take orders without crying and pawing at the dirt. First, Brillo went through basic training. It was absolute torture. All of the exercise made his muscles sore and his belly hurt. Mercy me, I'm not used to doing these push-ups, Brillo would moan. At times, the drill sergeant would come by with a large scouring pad and say, Rub those muscles. Get those muscles in shape. We can't have any wimps in this army. The drill sergeant tried to make life hard for Brillo and the other Dillos. But they soon learned that he was not as mean as he looked. Sometimes they would even laugh at the drill sergeant behind his back. What wore Brillo out more, what wore Brillo out were those awful 20 mile hikes. His backpack was heavy and big. The drill sergeant kept hollering, Step lively, move him out. Fat chance of me stepping lively with this mess on my back. Brillo would grunt to himself. When it was time to chow down, Brillo was too tired to eat. He was not used to eating MREs. This means meals ready to eat. They always made his tummy swell up and growl. Also, when it was time to eat, the drill sergeant would yell, Meals ready to eat, beef stew menu. Number seven, the best food this side of heaven. Brillo would say to himself, Junk food? How disgusting. Just give me a few ants or bugs any day. One afternoon, Private Brillo and his platoon had stopped by the side of a road to eat. Brillo quickly finished eating and decided to take a quick cat nap. Suddenly, a loud, booming voice yelled out at him, Private, you're sleeping on army time! Up and at em and make it double time, Private! 
By the way, Brillo Dillo, you now have a hundred push-ups and KP duty for the rest of the week. Brillo was sad and embarrassed. He did his push-ups and guarded camp all night. Then he worked in the kitchen all day. Brillo washed pots and pans until he was blue in the face. Private Brillo was almost always flunked in inspection. His weapon was dirty and dusty. His bunk was junky. His uniform was horribly wrinkled, and his boots were never shined. Most of the time, he even had them on the wrong feet. Messy, messy Brillo, the drill sergeant would holler. Every time Brillo fun flunked in inspection, he was put on special detail. That meant doing jobs that were not fun. Jobs like painting rocks or digging foxholes in the sun. When it came to digging foxholes, Brillo was like a steam shovel. He dug one so big and deep it looked like this. All of the armadillos laughed and laughed. He's so big now. <coughs> Private big. Am I supposed to say that? What? Finally, Brillo earned a weekend pass. He invited his best friend Skunk to the army post for a visit. Skunk was so excited. He waved his white, black and, his white and black tail at all the recruits. Brillo took Skunk on a tour of the post. It was wonderful being able to show off. He showed Skunk his bar barracks where he slept. Brillo took him by the mess hall where the good food was. Next, he showed him the motor pool where all the army equipment was stored. There were tanks, road graders, dump trucks, helicopters, and jeeps. Skunk was actually very frightened and scared. He warned Brillo about how dangerous the big machines could be. Brillo, let me remind you of the time you got run over and I had to glue your back. This time I may not be able to stick you back together. Suddenly Brillo had a marvelous idea. Let's pretend you're an army too. We'll camouflage you so no one will know you're a skunk. First we must give you a haircut. Brillo gave Skunk a GI haircut. Skunk was not at all happy that he'd lost his stripe, but Brillo assured him that it would soon grow back. Next Brillo fitted him with the army uniform. Now you have a suit like me, Brillo said. Then Skunk asked Brillo if he would teach him how to salute. Brillo thought it was a super idea, a skunk saluting an armadillo. The drill sergeant would be proud of him. Brillo was proud of his new recruit, Skunk. He was very proud until he heard the drill sergeant yelling at the top of his lungs. Brillo looked around and there was no skunk. The drill sergeant yelled again, What is that skunk doing on this army post? Somebody call the military police on the double! Brillo was petrified. Skunk was in trouble. Quickly, he tried to move toward Skunk. If he could get there fast enough and dig enough, his very best friend could be saved. So far, the drill sergeant had not noticed Brillo's digging. He continued to dig with all his might. When the hole was just big enough, he stood up and saluted. Skunk received the message and lickety-split jumped into the hole. Suddenly, Brillo looked up right into the drill sergeant's beady eyes. Private Brillo, are you responsible for this? If you are, you are in a heap of trouble. The drill sergeant yelled. There are positively no skunks allowed on this post, he said as he pointed his finger in Brillo's face. Ten days of KP, ten days of painting rocks, and ten days of guard duty, my little Dillo friend. Brillo saluted and turned his head just in time to see skunks sneaking out of the gate. Skunk stamped his feet and raised his tail toward the drill sergeant. Skunk saluted Brillo. Then suddenly, aim, fire! A cloud of stink filled the air. Everyone was wiping their eyes except Brillo and Skunk. Do you want to come with me, Brillo? Skunk cried out. Brillo saluted Skunk and cried back, No, I will stay and do my good old American duty. Hey, Skunk. Will I see you on the road sometime? Skunk flipped his tail as if to say, You betcha. Skunk then left and was soon out of sight. Even an armadillo doesn't need to be a deserto, Brillo, deserter, Brillo mumbled. Brillo, march! The drill sergeant began screaming, march! Hup, one, two, three! Brillo went on to serve his country well. 
That is, he became a top-notch armadillo. He received many medals. The most important one was a good conduct medal. He received promotions, too. Brillo did so well that when he left the army, his discharge papers read, General Brillo, the Army Dillo, the best soldier in the USA, was discharged honorably on the 13th of May, 30th of May. Brillo left the army post. He was tired and ready to find a nice, comfortable burrow where he could do as he pleased again. At last he was inside of his own nest and ready for a long rest. Brillo seemed to be in a deep sleep when he was abruptly awakened by an awful odor and skunk saying, Wake up, Brillo! You must be dreaming about something big. Brillo was in a daze. He shook his head. My army career has been nothing but an exciting dream. Remind me, skunk, to tell you about this dream I had. It was absolutely wonderful. I was in the real army and you came to visit. Skunk, you were a real stinker. Skunk grinned and lifted his tail proudly. I know I'm a little stinker. Now how about the two of us to making a trip down the road and you can tell me what happened with Brillo the Army Dillo in the real army. Like, that's all. The end. Yay!